Yo, what's going on, guys? Tanmay for Simple Snippets, and welcome back to another video tutorial under operating systems, especially the memory management part. And today we are going to be taking a look at another page replacement algorithm, which is known as least recently used page replacement algorithm. So in the previous couple of videos, we saw the first in, first out, and optimal page replacement. So if you have missed those videos, you can check it out in this playlist. And with that being said, let's start off with today's topic, and we'll go through a little bit of theory and solve a numerical. So talking about the theory of this algorithm, in this algorithm, page will be replaced, which is least recently used. So if this point sounds confusing, here's another way to put it: we have to replace the page that hasn't been referenced for the longest time. So in optimal page replacement, we saw ahead of time which is the page which is not going to be needed for the longest amount of time, but in least recently used, we are going to be doing the exact opposite. That is, we are going to be looking in the past which page has not been referenced for the longest time. Okay, so that is the only difference between LRU and optimal page replacement. So you'll understand more in detail when we solve the numerical. And LRU works on the idea that pages that have been most heavily used in the past are most likely to be used heavily in the next few instructions too. So that's the basic idea of LRU, which says that if certain pages are referenced a lot, they might be referenced a lot in future also. So enough of this theory. Let's solve a numerical and the entire. Algorithm idea and working will be very clear. So starting off, let me just read the question. So let us consider a page reference string, which is seven zero one two and so on and so forth. So this is that string, and we have four page slots. We have to calculate the number of page faults, page fault probability, and page fault percentage. So this reference string is nothing but the page numbers. Okay, so you can associate it with page numbers, and they can sometimes be in alphabets also. So basically, what This reference string is is the list of pages that the CPU is wanting to execute, and it is in a particular order, starting from seven to zero, from left to right. The number of page slots is four, which means that in the main memory we have only four page slots. That is, we have only four frames in which all these pages are supposed to be added. Which means that since there are more than four pages, we have to apply this replacement algorithm somewhere or some some place when we move ahead in time. So we'll see how that works, and we have to calculate three values. That is the number of page faults that are happening, the page fault probability, and the page fault percentage. So let me just first write down all the page reference string values on each of the steps. So I'm going to write seven over here. This is first step. That is the first page being requested. Then zero, then one, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I've written all the pages which are going to be needed in every step. Let's start off with the first step. So in the first step, the CPU is wanting page seven. Now in the memory, you can see that all the frames are empty, which means that we don't have any page in the main memory. So a page fault is generated. That's the definition of page fault, right? If we don't have any page in the main memory, a page fault is generated. So a page fault is generated, and page number seven is brought into the main memory from the virtual memory. So this is step number one. In step number two, page zero is requested by the CPU. We already have seven from the previous step. Now zero is requested, but zero is not there, so zero is brought into the frames, and again a page fault situation is happened. Similar to step number three and four, a page fault is going to be generated in both the cases. So let me just write down the values. So this is what happens in the first four steps because for the first four times the frames are empty, and we have different pages coming in. So each of the different pages are going to be allocated into different frames. Moving on to step five, you can see that. Page zero is required back again by the CPU. So since zero is already there in frame two, you can see from the previous step, a page fault is not going to happen, and we're just going to be writing the values as it is. So I'm going to say seven zero one two. Now at step number six, page three is required, and page three is not there in the memory, and we also have filled out all the frames, which means that one of the page has to be swapped out. So this is where the LRU is going to come into picture. Now according to LRU what we have to do is we have to look back in time and see which page was not referenced for the longest time now if you see behind page 0 was just referenced before that page 2 was referenced before that page 1 was referenced before that 0 was referenced and lastly page 7 was referenced and there is no occurrence of 7 in between right so page 7 is the page which is not referenced for the longest amount of time In between these steps, right till step number six. So this is why we are going to be replacing seven, and instead of seven, we are going to be writing three, and rest of them are going to be as it is. So three is swapped in, and seven is swapped out. 
and this is a page fault scenario because 3 was brought from virtual memory into the main memory. So this is the LRU algorithm and I hope you've got a basic idea of how we replaced 7 because it was not referenced for the longest time in the past. So let's move ahead. For the next step we want 0, 0 is already there so no page fault. I'm just gonna write all the values 3, 0, 1, 2. Moving on to the next step we want 4. Now page number 4 is not there in the memory and our memory is already full so one page has to be swapped out. So again using LRU we have to look back in time. So 0 was just referenced, 3 was just referenced before 0, again 0 was referenced, then we have 2 which was referenced after 0 and then we have 1 which was referenced last. Now we do not need to count 0 again because 0 was just referenced over here right which means that right before this step 0 was referenced. So according to LRU we cannot replace 0 that is we cannot replace this value. Similarly we cannot replace 3 because it was just accessed before 0 and we cannot replace 2 because it was accessed just after this step. So if you observe in past this number 1 or page number 1 is the page which has not been referenced for the longest amount of time. Right? If you see 1 was referenced over here but after that it was not referenced ever. So this is why we remove page 1 and replace 4 instead of 1 and rest of the values are going to be as it is. So I'm going to say 3, 0, 2 and this is a page fault scenario. Okay, so let's move ahead. Moving ahead we have 2 which is requested by CPU. 2 is already there in memory so 3, 0, 4, 2. No page fault. Similarly for last 4 steps you can see that 3, 0, 3, 2 that is 3, 0 and 2 are already there in the main memory so no page fault is going to occur in last 4 steps also so I'm just going to write all these values as it is so 3, 0, 4, 2, 3, 0, 4, 2 and so on. Okay so this was the complete timeline chart of the numerical and I hope you've understood how to use least recently used algorithm. Basically we just have to find out that page that hasn't been referenced for the longest time and replace that with the new page. So we still have to find out 3 values that is the number of page faults, page fault probability and page fault percentage so let's do that. So counting the number of x values that is counting the number of page faults we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So number of page faults is 6. Page fault probability would be number of page faults divided by the total number of accesses. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 6 by 13 is gonna give you 4.61. Similarly for the page fault percentage we just have to divide the number of page faults upon the total number of memory accesses and we have to multiply it by 100. So basic percentage formula this would give you 46.1%. So these are the three values that we are usually supposed to calculate when a page replacement algorithm question or numerical comes into play. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the least recently used aka LRU page replacement algorithm. If you like this video, if you understood the entire concept, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments that you like this video. Share it with your friends as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed on this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.